guys, this is Justina Elise, and today we are going to do a review on some makeup brushes that I got off of Amazon. If you're interested in that, please keep on watching. Alright, I got 10 pair of pieces of makeup brushes. I got them all off of Amazon. Um, you know how Amazon Prime people have like a daily deal or whatever, or maybe it's not only Amazon Prime people, I don't know. But these brushes were on the deal. Um, it was 10 brushes for $10. So I did do, use all of those brushes for this look that I have today. Um, so I'm going to go over each brush and basically how I used it and what is my basic review for each brush. Overall. The brushes are very, very soft. They um, apply relatively good. They're not like the best brushes in the world, but they apply relatively good. I'll go in for each individual brush, what I think, you know, as far as each individual brush and how they apply, but they do apply relatively good. I have washed the brushes before and there's not any shedding, even with applying them, using the brush to apply makeup on your face, it's not really that much. Let's go ahead and start reviewing each individual brush. The first eye brush that I'm gonna go over is the eyebrow um, brush. And I use this one for my concealer. After I put my um, eyebrow, draw my eyebrows out, fill them in, I use this and put some concealer on this brush and usually like clean up my eyebrows so they can be more cleaner. Comparing this to my usual concealer brushes for my eyebrows, um, this brush is pretty thick. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is pretty thick compared to other brushes that I've used for my concealer. They're usually not as thick as this one and um, I like it. it, it gives me a lot of product so I won't have to go back in with product constantly, but it's pretty thick compared to the other brushes that I've used. So, I, I mean, I'm gonna continue using this, of course. It's a really good angle brush, thick, it gets a lot of product in, but I'm just not as used to it any, uh, yet. So, um, I'm gonna keep working with it and try to figure out the best way to use this brush. foundation brush with the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Total Coverage, I think that's what it's called, in Coco. And as y'all might know if you've used that foundation before, it dries really fast. So I usually use, when I use that foundation, I usually use a steepling brush or a flathead kabuki brush, which I could have used this brush as well, but it's just not as big enough to like get you know, go pretty fast compared to my, you know, fatter kabuki brush that I have, steepling brush. So I could have used this as well, but I just didn't. I use this one and it basically, as you look, if you look really closely, like basically the foundation like dried into the brush. So as I was applying it and the, you know, the foundation was like drying, 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 I had to really like get in there and move it the foundation around and I didn't like that about this with my kabuki brush I'm able to hurry up and kind of move the product together this one I kind of had to like paint it on my face so I didn't really like that and maybe it's just the foundation I use maybe I shouldn't use that foundation with this brush um, and then again I don't usually use a brushes like this to put my foundation on but since it is a foundation brush I used it this time so I, you know, I probably wouldn't use it necessarily for um, foundation again, maybe to apply like a cream um, contour on my face that's not like too mattifying or maybe even a more liquidy or dewy foundation would be better to use this to apply. When I was applying, I really, I did get like streaks and I don't usually get streaks when I apply my foundation, then again, as I said, it was a fast drying foundation. So um, 
this I'm, I'm probably not going to use for foundation anymore. I might try to find something else to use it for. But um, yeah, this was a no for foundation for me. Powder brush. I usually use this brush to um, set my under eye concealer um, with my compact um, powder. I usually use it for that under eyes, forehead, basically everywhere I highlight my chin and I also use this brush to like basically blend everything in, blend in my concealer and my foundation kind of together so there won't be too many uh, demarcation marks. So I use this brush for that. And as you see, it's kind of pretty much like seamless um, application. So that's a pl I didn't have any problem with um, streaks going on when I applied certain products, even when with blending in the foundation and the concealer together, I didn't really have any problems with that. So yeah, powder brush is pretty good. The next brush is my flat head angled um, powder brush, powder brush. And I use this brush specifically for my nose. So I use it for my, my um, uh, powder, setting powder that I use for my concealer. For my under eyes, I use this specifically for, for my nose because as y'all see, it's a really good, you know, right into the middle of your nose. You don't have to really worry about, you know, getting like concealer all on the side where you might be trying to contour or whatever contour or whatever. Um, this would be another good brush if you have a powdered bronzer and you wanted to um, specifically have it at a certain part of your face. So like right here, you would put bronzer as well as on the side, your forehead and then on top. So this will be a really good brush for that. Um, even cream concealers, really good brush for that. So yeah. So on to my blend, blending eyeshadow brushes. The first brush is my tapered blending brush, and this is a really good, really fluffy um, brush. Um, when you go in with a product, it takes up a lot of product. Um, usually, when I certain um, tapered blending brushes, it doesn't get as much product. The product product is like not get on the brush, and this one takes up a lot of product. Um, I use this basically for my transition color and um, just basically focused it into my crease, blended it out. I dipped into the product maybe one or two times to blend out both the um, you know transition color on both of my eyes and it just did a really, really, really good job of doing that. So even with blending the other eyeshadows in, as y'all see, you know, it's blended in. Like there's no demarcation lines is blended in is blended in perfectly too so this is a really good blending brush i could say that So these are my three eyeshadow brush. This is um, a smaller version of this one. And um, they are very good at picking up product, um, you know, getting the product on there. I, I use this for my outer V of my eyebrow. It's very good at getting that area and getting that darker color packed into that area to help help you get more of a smoky eye. Uh, look this one this is a pretty big one and this allows me to basically kind of like lay stuff on my lid specifically and blend it out this one as well this is probably the same size as my my lid um so it's if you want a particular color to go in a particular place this will be a really good brush for that but this is you know pretty much a little bit bigger maybe the double the size and so it picks up a little bit more product compared to this one. 
but they basically fit in your um, eyelids really, really good when it comes to that. And they're really good at holding products and picking it up. about is the angled blush brush I use this brush for my highlight basically I usually put my highlight right here on the top of my cheeks and um, and this is really good it's really like fluffy lightweight and it's really good like at blending um, the highlight into your face sometimes when I use more um, glowier highlight I usually like to um, make sure that I put my setting powder on top of the highlight so it won't be too bright. And this brush is a really good brush to help you do that. So I really like this brush as well. The last brush is the eyeliner brush. Now I usually don't use eyeliner, um, liquid eyeliner, any eyeliner really. I don't really use it. Um, but this brush I've been using for my tear duct to put color in my tear duct. So I basically go in with my lighter color and kind of just like rub the color in, outline the inner V of my eye as well as kind of under my eye a little bit. And it's very good at placing the color there and brightening up my eyes as y'all can see. And I just love how it's so small. Um, I wish it was kind of thicker, maybe they, if they would have had um, a thicker brush, um, maybe one specifically for the tear duct, that would be really good. Even though I probably could use this one for my tear duct as well, but then again, it's kind of big for this area. So I wouldn't probably necessarily use it for that. Maybe one that's a little thicker than this one would be good, so. I want to talk about the basic, basic presentation of the brushes. They are amazingly looking. They got the marble handle and they also have the gold on the bottom and at the top. And that just makes them look pretty and presentable. You want to put them on your desk and your makeup desk and have them sitting there and make, you know, making your desk look beautiful. That's one thing that I really admired about them when I first saw them, that they were pretty and the fact that whether they were gonna work or not. But um, I can say these brushes out of five, which I usually rate my products out of five, um, I will rate these brushes a four. Of course, a couple of them have, you know, different things that I don't specifically like about them. And I could find something else for these brushes those specific brushes to do, but overall, they're really, really good brushes. They don't shed, they, when you wash them, they wash pretty good. And, you know, I've had them for about three weeks now and they've done amazing um, for my makeup, doing my makeup. So I highly recommend these. Um, maybe the brushes that I found that, you know, I didn't really like, y'all can find things that you can do with those brushes as well. So, all right guys, so if you're interested in those brushes, I'll have a link below. Right now on Amazon, they're $13.99. Um, remember, I got them on a daily deal, so they were about $10 that day. Um, but if you're interested, I'll leave a, uh, a link below in the description box of specifically where I got those brushes at. And thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I mean, you watched the whole video, you might as well. If you like, makeup looks like this i'll have makeup looks like this every week every saturday i have makeup looks like this so make sure you subscribe to my next video leave a comment below of any products you might want me to use and like this video so i know that you like videos like this and i will see y'all next time remember that you look blessed bye guys